Guys, it's taco day at the house, and we're doing carne asada street tacos with a homemade salsa verde. I'm using this chopped steak. It's going to be perfect. I love taco day at the house, and so do the girls. So let's get started. I got some white onion. I'm going to slice it really thin. And I've also got some cilantro. I'm not going to chop this up. I'm just going to take the stems off, and I'm going to leave the leafy part, and that's going to go into the marinade. So let's go ahead and get going. Grab that steak. I'm going to start by throwing those onions right down on there. We'll follow that up with that cilantro. All right, next is some dried oregano. That goes right on top. I'm going to add a little bit of dried cumin, and that gets followed with some garlic powder. I'm not going too heavy on any of these. Just a light coating, good pinch of salt, and a little bit of black pepper. That's going to enhance the flavor of all of this. And then we're going to hit that with some white distilled vinegar. It's going to add just this perfect balance that we need in all of this. Also, nice squeeze of lime. Between the vinegar and the lime, we have the nice acid that we need in this dish. It's going to be perfect. And I go ahead and just mush all that flavor into that meat. Mix it around really well. Be sure it all gets good coverage. We want full coverage going on here, guys. So I'm going to kind of break up any clumps of meat as I go. Keep mixing. Kind of press and squeeze it in. That's going to be perfect. Let that set for an hour. Let's make some salsa. I got my tomatillos, jalapenos, a little bit of chopped white onion, and I got some garlic. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to this because we're going to kind of saute it for a few minutes. And that's going over to the stove. And guys, we don't have to get this all completely brown, but we want a couple little brown edges. It's going to add this nice kind of roasty flavor to the salsa. It's going to be absolutely perfect. So keep moving it, don't let it burn, then we're gonna go ahead and add a little water. We're gonna let that simmer till everything gets nice and soft. By the time everything's soft, it's going to have reduced down. There's not gonna be a whole lot of water left. At that point, it's gonna be time to put it into our blender. So go ahead and throw that into the blender. And of course, there's gonna be a little bit of juice left at the bottom, guys. Don't forget that. We're gonna pour that right into the blender as well. Now a little safety tip guys, when I put the lid on, notice I keep the pour spout open, okay? That's to release the steam. We wanna be really careful. Then when we start this, we just kinda of couple quick pulses. You don't wanna just go full speed right off the bat. All that steam's gonna just blow that lid off and it could make a real big mess and worse than that, it could burn you and we don't wanna do that. So be real careful, get it pureed. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of cilantro nice pinch of salt and then we're going to squeeze some lime juice in there that looks about perfect throw the lid back on another quick pulse and we're going to get this all pureed guys remember safety first in the kitchen don't hurt yourself okay that's ready throw that into a little pan and then of course don't forget to taste it you want to see how it's doing you can always adjust the seasoning right now I absolutely love salsa when it's fresh and warm. It's actually the best time to eat it, if you ask me. And this came out perfect. I better try another one just to double check. You never know. Things could change in a heartbeat. <laughs> okay, that's all good. Let's cook our meat. A little bit of oil goes down on the griddle. Throw that meat down. I'm going to move it around. Try to get full coverage on that griddle. Get this all cooked. Those are little tiny pieces of chopstick. They're going to cook really fast. I start moving it, get underneath it, toss it around. This is really satisfying when you're cooking. This is a lot of fun to do, this part. I look forward to this all day. You know, it's the little things in the kitchen that really keep me going, and this is one of them. I absolutely love cooking large batches. Cooking for big groups, I think, is a lot easier than cooking individual, and it's a totally different style of cooking as well. So this is looking pretty good. I'm getting a nice brown on it. We're going to move it out one more time. It's looking good, guys. One more little toss. I got some crispness on there. It's smelling absolutely amazing. I think we're ready. Let's build some tacos. I'm gonna grab a plate. I got tortillas down on the grill. Let them get a little bit crisp. I got my double tortillas. I'm gonna throw down my meat. Hit that with some white onion, a little bit of cilantro. Of course, I need a squeeze of lime. You could eat it just like that, but I made that killer green salsa. That's going next. Look at that. It's ready, man. Just get in there and enjoy. It's taco day at the house, guys, and we killed it today. Absolutely amazing. What a treat. Cheers, everyone.